Michio Kaku recently stated that Oumuamua, the intriguing particle that previously captivated our attention, has left Neptune's orbit, evading further study. Scientists still argue its origin and nature. Was it a chunk of shattered planet or alien technology sent by a mysterious civilization? Both concepts endure in intellectual discourse, surprising. Due to its unique properties, Oumuamua cannot be classified as a comet, asteroid or man-made entity. The discovery of six additional solar system objects identical to Oumuamua by Michio Kaku is shocking. In this video, we will explore Oumuamua, analyze these new items and consider their implications for our cosmos. A visitor from another star system appeared in our solar system in 2017. Hawaiian astronomers at Haleakala Observatory discovered Oumuamua. Oumuamua was no ordinary wanderer. Its cigar-like or flat dish form surprised experts, and it was believed to be 100 to 1,000 meters long. This extraterrestrial object's rapid speed made it clear it wouldn't stay long. This gave it the Hawaiian name Oumuamua, meaning scout or first distant messenger. Scientists were fascinated by Oumuamua, a unique space traveler in a cosmos full of potential cosmic visitors. This interplanetary visitor was the first of its sort in our observation, although our solar system undoubtedly had many such nomads in the past. Oumuamua's arrival excited experts anxious to discover its secrets. It was first described as a comet, however, anomalies developed. It looked like an asteroid since it had neither coma or tail. The object's sudden acceleration when it left the Sun's proximity, despite its slow beginning speed of 17 meters per second, added mystery. This unconventional conduct generated intriguing concerns and sparked scholarly inquiry. Objects in motion should only change direction when forced, yet Oumuamua seemed to design its own trajectory. Initial candidates for this anomaly were immediately dismissed. Weak solar winds were inadequate. Despite its elusive look in photos, brightness changes revealed its elongated structure to experts. This behavior was unlike a spherical asteroid. To understand object acceleration, scientists compared it to comets. Comets' frozen cores warm up and turn into gas as they approach the sun, forming the tail. This process expels gas and dust, propelling the comet away from the sun like a small thruster. In Oumuamua's instance, scientists couldn't find all the gas and dust. These materials were unfound, despite extensive searches, leading to further fascinating possibilities. One mysterious absence contradicted our comprehension, encouraging us to investigate the undiscovered powers of the universe. In this huge speculation, various possibilities emerged. Some theories believed Oumuamua was a part of a bigger object that broke in another star system. This segment might explain the object's non-gravitational acceleration if it preserved momentum. Oumuamua may be magnetic, according to another idea. The object may have been accelerated by its magnetic characteristics and the sun's magnetic field. The interstellar dust and non-gravitational forces hypotheses were equally fascinating and unconventional. The interstellar dust idea suggested that Oumuamua collided with an unobservable cloud of dust. This encounter may have changed the object's trajectory initially predicted. However, the non-gravitational forces idea suggested that other undiscovered forces may be accelerating. This category included explanations that didn't fit within paradigms. Some even proposed a measurement error, underlining the significance of addressing measurement errors and observational artifacts. Accurate trajectory projections required precise position and velocity data, and even slight inaccuracies might cause apparent acceleration. Among these hypotheses, one was captivatingly audacious. Harvard professor Avi Loeb's groundbreaking concept sparked a heated controversy. He believed mild solar winds may explain Oumuamua's acceleration. However, Oumuamua has to be 0.3 to 0.9 millimeters thin to be legitimate. Loeb believed such extreme slenderness contradicted natural possibilities and suggested intentional fabrication. He imagined Oumuamua as a light sail designed to harness solar winds and travel between stars. This bold notion adds another dimension to the mystery of the extraterrestrial visitor from space. 
scientific theories regularly fight and our second dominant hypothesis is involved. In 2020, Cornell University's Ziv Seligman proposed that Oumuamua emitted invisible hydrogen gas. According to him, this gas might explain Oumuamua's lack of outgassing. Seligman even saw Oumuamua as a big hydrogen glacier slowly turning into gas owing to the sun's heat. Avi Loeb, who disagreed, debated again. In his opinion, interstellar space is too heated for hydrogen icebergs to reach Earth. Loeb maintained that Oumuamua's puzzles were related to alien technology, not icebergs. Despite the setback, Seligman persisted. He considered that pure hydrogen gas may have pushed Oumuamua. This back and forth between the two researchers shows how scientific hypotheses evolve like parts of a jigsaw, even if the image is of a bizarre object hurtling across space. University of California associate professor Jennifer Bergner made a breakthrough in 23. Laboratory research showed how super cold water ice hit by radiation might retain hydrogen pockets and released them when the ice structure thawed, explaining Oumuamua. The quantity of water, itis and cosmic radiation in the space supported this idea. Bergner and her counterpart wrote a paper. It changed our view of Oumuamua. It became a dark comet after becoming a comet or asteroid. Unlike most comets, its coma was invisible yet detectable. This finding created a new class of celestial objects, demonstrating the link between radiation, ice and cosmic secret. This notion explained Oumuamua's remarkable acceleration and lack of comet dust. Dark comets quietly restructured and released pockets of invisible gas, unlike typical comets. Despite this, Avi Loeb maintained his extraterrestrial spacecraft belief. Despite their disagreement, Seligman considered the possibility of further black comets in our solar system. He, Bergner and his colleagues searched solar system object data for unexpected acceleration to investigate this hypothesis. This increased the possibility of additional surprises in our familiar cosmic neighborhood. They found six unartifacts that fulfilled their criterion, which was amazing. These items moved without gravity, making them unusual. Scientists couldn't explain these items' movement. Their three meters width made them seem like asteroids with no distinguishing features. Additionally, these objects were near to Earth, making them ideal for future expeditions to examine. Their acceleration, as if propelled by an unseen source, was extremely puzzling. Even though the acceleration was tiny and unaccounted for, Seligman and his colleagues were excited by this finding. These objects were neither spacecraft or from beyond our solar system. They did not emit gas to accelerate, therefore science could not explain their mobility. Hayabusat will encounter one of these fascinating asteroids in 2031. This asteroid, 1998 KY26, will be visited by Hayabusa 2. This 20 k spacecraft collected asteroids for samples. After six years, it was extended to examine additional near-Earth Apollo group asteroids. The planned 1998 KY26 mission might reveal not only this object's behavior, but also those of comparable astronomical objects and perhaps Oumuamua. 98 K26 is a tiny space rock that spins in 10 minutes. This asteroid will be closely flown by Hayabusa 2 to obtain further data. This fascinating asteroid has a lot of water, which might be useful for Mars missions. When Hayabusa 2 hits Ni8 KY96, scientists expect to understand its unique acceleration. Scientists continue to dispute Oumuamua, another space item. The truth of Oumuamua may never be known due to its remote location. However, six additional objects with strange acceleration have increased the fascination. These results should provide light on Oumuamua's origins. These objects accelerating going to invisible hydrogen reed releases would validate Seligman's views. Science fiction depictions of a small extraterrestrial waving from a racing spaceship emphasize the relevance of Loeb's beliefs. Actually, the first theory sounds more feasible than the second, but exploring these items will be fascinating. Science is not always what it seems. Theories may change and may not match reality, which is okay. 
The beauty of science is its constant discovery. In 21, we may turn more about Oumuamu and other cosmic objects like 1998 counted six. The Hayabusa 2 probe may confirm Loeb or Seligman's theories. Due of its vastness and mystery, the cosmos may preserve its mysteries for Antai. The 23 mission may reveal information that contradict present hypotheses, showing how scientific thinking is flexible. Many fans and researchers believe these anomalies may reveal more about the cosmos. Maybe even unknown physics. Most astrophysicists follow known ideas. But Oumuamua and 98 Kepatsi spark interest and question paradigms. The 20th Titan Hayabusa probe mission may change our knowledge of the cosmos and reveal our beloved mysteries. Scientific discovery is an ongoing process and we anxiously await new discoveries. What are your thoughts on the mysteries surrounding Oumuamua and the newly discovered objects exhibiting mysterious acceleration in our solar system? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.